Hi everyone, um, it's me, Ashdown, with the Ashdown 365 Day Challenge. This would be day 15, um, halfway through the first month, and today's challenge is one that I, um, uh, what have you eaten today? And, um, I'm going to talk to you about what I ate yesterday, which I didn't eat much yesterday, surprisingly enough, um, but... Um, because seeing as I've only had breakfast today, which was my famous bagel sandwiches. Um, but, uh, anyway, so I'm going to tell you what I ate, and then I'm going to tell you why I put this on the actual challenge. Alright, so, yesterday I ate... Okay, um, we woke up, and I don't even remember... Oh, I had a bowl of cereal, um, which I usually don't eat cereal because I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have, um, the milk, but I ate it anyway. Um, we had Cheerios, um, and I put a little sugar on my Cheerios. I know, not healthy. Um, but I think a little sugar is not bad. Um, then we ate, <laughs> then my mom and I got this pint of, um, it was like pasta stuff that they sell at Walmart. Um, it has like onions in it and like cheese and stuff. Um, and then between her and I we ate that, and then we got, we each got a double, um, or a McDouble at McDonald's, and we drink, we ate that, and we drank, um, a Dr. Pepper, and then we really didn't eat anything else until, um, we were gonna have subs for dinner, and so we went and we, um, we brought the sub roll, and there was ham and turkey and all that fun stuff in there, and then, um, we were at the store, and these awesome things, um, they're called donut kebabs, they're seriously the little donut holes, and there were three of them on a straw, and, uh, it was pretty amazing, not gonna lie, um, and then, um, so I ate that before the sub, then we got home and we ate subs, and then we got Steeler's Thumbprint Cookies, I love thumbprint cookies, if you don't know what a thumbprint cookie is, it's, they took, um, regular sugar cookie dough, and then they put, um, sprinkles in it, and they mix it all around, kind of, and then they, like, bake it with the sprinkles in it, and they push down on it with their thumb, and then they put the, in the, where you push down on the thumb, which is why they call it a thumbprint cookie, um, they put frosting, and the Steelers ones had, um, black and orange sprinkles on them, and I think it was supposed to be yellow frosting, but it looked kind of orange. Anyway, um, so I ate a bunch of those, um, and I actually finished those this morning. <laughs> But, um, I think that's all I ate, and I drank, uh, Lipton, oh, Lipton, uh, I'm looking it up, Lipton, this is what I drank, uh. okay, I hope I didn't show you my butt crack, I just thought about that, um, I drank a white raspberry Lipton tea, um, I'll probably drink one now that I have it out of the container, but, um, and I had that with dinner last night. I think what else we had? I think that's all we had. And then this morning I made my, um, I usually use onion bagels, but we couldn't find any at Giant Eagle. Um, so we had plain bagels, and then, um, I, I fry up an egg, and then I put Canadian bacon, or bacon, depending on the day. Today was Canadian bacon. And then I get this, it's this cheddar cheese with, um, with bacon in it. And I put that on, and then it all melts together. And, um, everybody I make them for puts butter on it, which I'm not a big, huge butter fan on just everything, so I didn't put any on there. But, um, oh, I had toast yesterday with my cereal, too. Just thought of that. Um, anyway, so I didn't eat very healthy yesterday. Um, but, uh, and I had a Mountain Dew. A Mountain Dew throwback this morning. I think that's all I've eaten. It is definitely like 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm still in my PJs. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I have nothing like that I'm actually supposed to do today. Well, I should work on my resume, but I don't really want to. Anyway, so, um, so that's, that's what's up. That's what's going on. Um, hmm. Uh, I put this on the actual, um, 
on the uh, on the challenge, I actually have a couple more times when you have to talk about what you ate. Um, because um, one of the steps to eating better, to being healthier, um, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going on a diet because I'm fat, because I'm, you know. No, I think um, there's, no such, there's no such thing as a diet. I don't think there should be such a thing as a diet. Um, a diet is just die with a T. Um, a diet is something you temporarily go on to change your overall diet, the way you eat. Um, so, but I think it should be lifestyle changes instead of diets, or life change, or a food change, or a diet change, I think is how it should be worded, because, um, if you're going to start eating better, if tomorrow morning you wake up and you're like, I'm not going to eat any more potato chips, or if you're in England, crisps, um, <laughs> you know, that's a choice, that's a decision, that's not a, I'm going on a diet so I can't eat chips. You can eat them all you want, just it's your choice to not eat them. Um, but, uh, you know, so that's something that I think I think will help promote with this. Um, and one of the things uh, that I've read and I've heard in um, numerous magazines and articles and on different um, healthy uh, videos, I guess, on YouTube, um, is to keep a food journal because you'll become more aware of what you're eating. Um, like, I just realized yesterday I didn't eat a single vegetable. Well, I ate some onions and I ate some stuff on my sub, but, but like, I didn't eat anything really all that healthy. Um, and in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have had the toast with the cereal because that was a lot of grain. A whole lot of grain. <laughs> um, but, you know... That's something to be aware of. If you're, you know, you're five times less likely to eat something bad if you have to write it down. Um, I don't remember if it was five times. Maybe it was only four times. It's four or five. Four to five times less. How's that sound? Uh, likely to, to eat it. So, you know, if you're trying to cut back on the amount of sugar you intake or you're trying to cut back on the amount of soda you drink, um, that's a really good way to do it. Something else you need, you know, in that aspect. So that's why it's on the challenge, you know, to to help you feel better. Because if you eat less junk, um, which I love my junk, so oh that sounded bad. Oh I can see so many that's what she said jokes right now. Anyway, um <laughs> if you eat less junk food, which I love my junk food, um, but if you do, you know, you kind of feel better. You feel <sighs> So, um, so that's my advice for today. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'll probably do the next video around midnight so then I have time to do it. Um, anyway, toodles!